Go ahead. Why, why would we start? <laughs> you know, this is your podcast. Is this the cool book? Um, Say whatever you want. Alright, welcome to the podcast. The next song you're going to hear is Android Sock Hop. This is the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. That someone else is uh, Ted. I'm a fourth year aerospace engineering. Was it <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hi, I'm Nathaniel, and I'm your facet leader. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ted, and uh, I'm Daniel's boss. <laughs> I don't think that's really how it works. If anything, Mary is kind of my boss. Mm, I think one. Mary's all of our bosses. <laughs> Blake will not show up. He's half an hour late. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that he's studying. He's probably studying. Yeah. What a nerd. What he's a like guy. playing basketball at the CRC, so he's like next door. Yeah, maybe. That'd be a little ironic, you know? Well, he did that one Like time. a little movie scene? He forgot, he forgot to go. He forgot they were recording one time. And he's like, oh, I'm at the CRC playing basketball. I'll just run right over. I guess this isn't the usual time, so... No, we record whenever. Oh. Well, it's not my usual time. <laughs> oh, yeah, we usually do in the evenings. Yeah. When the game's on. But the game's on early today because it's the Pro Bowl. It's the prestigious Pro Bowl. You know, I'll say huge fan of, like, the pretty neutral colored jerseys and then everybody wearing their own helmets. What is oh, this? my gosh. He caught that. So, Andre Roberts, Bill's representative, or one of them, to the Pro Bowl, totally caught a touchdown pass and then... Mm. Dude, that's garbage. Really he didn't even get his second foot down. Dude, it's... Oh, are you an idiot? Until, <laughs> he, doesn't have it until, he doesn't have it until the end. Yeah, so Ted's Sounds an idiot. Fake. It Sounds got reversed. Fake. Bill's touchdown Sounds in fake. the Pro Bowl. No, 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 no. Sounds fake. Uh, yeah, well, he... he Again, why is he playing? Play. Okay, he's playing because he was a great special teams returner. Has great hands. As shown by him catching a touchdown pass right there. Well, like, I'm a little upset that I can't buy my Andre Roberts Pro Bowl jersey. They, they, they don't sell it. Why not? I don't know. I can't find it. Because he's a, is he an alternate? Uh, yes. Special teams alternate? I don't know. To, to Slater, probably? I don't know. No, he's a returner, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a returner. So it's different. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I couldn't even find a Trey White jersey either. Well, is he a punt returner? Oh, this is one returner, right? Yes. They don't have a separate punt. And... He is the best returner in the AFC. Can you buy Pro Bowl jerseys? Yeah. I like the AFC jerseys, not gonna lie. Why is uh, Google making me do this? Chorn. <laughs> it's not even letting me type now. You can. Interesting. Maybe your phone has a virus. It's probably a virus. I'll just restart. Okay. Um, Ted has personal stories you wanted to talk about? Do I? Uh, maybe. You've been hyping them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have stories about other people to tell, but... Okay. It's not really the podcast for it. We can record twice. We can do a separate non Super Bowl. This is our big Super Bowl preview, Ted. Oh, wait. It? They already showed this. Earlier in the, do you remember that Monday night game when they showed this graphic? There's a graphic of like Lamar floating. I don't remember which game. Well, I don't know the Ravens Monday night game. We never um, watched the Ravens Monday night game. No, I'm not saying I watched it with you. I'm just saying. That oh, they, so you meant when we were recording? No, no. So it's like I don't remember. I mean, maybe you think you expect them to pay for more graphics? I mean, I don't know. I think it's just kind of goofy to read. Let's see if my phone works now. Like, how do I put it? The only people who would watch this shit are people who probably watched that Monday night game. So, like, they are necessarily, like, repeating content. Hmm. So what are they doing? Are they going for the the fourth, fourth and 15? What are they doing? I, I, don't I, I don't know. I don't know also, wait, doing. dude. Russell Wilson is playing. He's on the field right now. That's weird. I thought he was... Maybe he considered giving a spot to Bruce. I don't know. Oh, what? Oh, okay, no. They're not going for the form. Fourth and 15. 
No, I think they just started on 25. Yeah. Okay. So okay, like other websites are working, so I don't know what's going on with like Google. Ted, give me something else to Google. Google? Give me Google, uh, Google. Google, Google. What's going on here? Uh, you should oh. actually. Oh, is that. Oh. Whoa, who was that? Our boy, oh, Von, Von Miller. Miller. Yeah, oh, that was nasty. It? Oh, dude, just blew by the Sorry. blocker. Oof. Like, it wasn't even there. It was just, like, how do I put it? It was one of those things where, like, the quarterback was maybe going to hand off to the running back. It didn't matter. He was just, like, going to tackle both of them at the same time. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ooh, are you allowed to touch people on defense? It's a uh, point. roughing the passer. Yeah, that should be a yeah, that's problem. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, this is our big Super Bowl preview. Um, Ted? Oh, yeah. Who you got? Ravens or Ravens. Cardinals? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a big Steelers fan, so I'm thinking they can come in, Ben Roethlisberger can play, a bit, play with his left hand, but... Look I will at... say this. I definitely want the Bills to win the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> I think they got Patrick Mahomes. Just him? Just him. I mean, honestly, my sentiment's kind of the same. I'm picking the Chiefs, but... I got Patrick Mahomes. Like I think he's the one who's gonna do it. It's interesting. I think it's like sixty-five, thirty-five. They're picking Chiefs. There's like the odds. Yeah. Pretty lopsided considering. I mean, yeah. Probably have to put money on something and put it on the 49ers because just the betting payoffs would be in their favor. But I still think that the Chiefs are gonna. Win. I've heard a lot of takes that are like. Uh, oh, the 49ers haven't played an offense like the Chiefs this year. Wait, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They played the Ravens, Saints, uh, Packers, if you want to, you know, maybe. But, like, they play plenty of great offenses. Yeah. So I don't know what that sentiment is. Well, to be, okay, let's look at the Saints game. It's not like their defense no. stops the Saints. You know what I mean? That was just a crazy shootout. Yeah. But the team could show that they could compete in that shootout, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why I think the Super Bowl is going to be so exciting. I think the 49ers defense is really good, and the Chiefs offense is just better. And the 49ers offense is a little better than the Chiefs defense. <laughs> Chiefs defense has been good in the second half. Yeah, but that's their run, true. their run defense is still bad. I wonder if we're going to see the like uh, Chiefs go down something to zero yeah. and just make some crazy No, that's again. the move. The 49ers can't doing all year. build a lead. On the Chiefs, or they'll lose. Well, Ted and I talk about this. Like, <laughs> the way that the Chief, that the 49ers build leads is different than like what the Texans or Titans did. First of all, the Titans built like a 10-point lead, so I don't really count that as a blown... Like, they didn't blow that game the same way the Texans did. Yeah. Right? They were up like 10 nothing. So the Texans obviously were up 21 nothing, But like, that was in like the first eight minutes of the game, right? Doesn't wait, matter. wait, 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 wait. Are, you're talking about the games against the Chiefs? Yeah. Okay, the, the Texans were up 24-0. 24-0. No. And yes, yeah, and then and uh, the Titans yeah. were up like 17 0. 17 0. Yeah, 17 0. I yeah. 17 7. Maybe at the end of the second no, quarter, was they were up 17 0. Yeah, two touchdowns. Yeah, just don't build a lead against the Chiefs. Well, like also, well, but those, those were very quick leads, too. Where the 49ers build leads is like they'll go up 21 points, but it'll take like three and a half quarters for them to do that. Yeah, because they, they, they do different things differently, they don't take downfield shots like the uh. Texans well, okay, speaking of that, if I'm the Chiefs, defensive coordinator is Cornell, right? So, what? Who's the Chiefs the defensive Chiefs? coordinator? Spagnuolo. Oh. Cornell is the, uh, was the Texans, but they just, just, oh, they yeah. just fired him. Okay, well, I got my ears confused. Anyway, um, yeah, if I'm that DC, I'm thinking, oh, you Drew is there. Cool. got to stop the run game, and you have to make Garoppolo prove himself. Right? I mean, that's what they did with Ryan Tannehill. To just put the ball in Ryan Tannehill's hands. Yeah, good point. I think their game plan is actually super similar. Oh wow! Thanks for pointing that out because I didn't. Even, and you know, like Look at Ted, he brought, he brought notes. Yeah. Well, because okay, Tannehill looked really good that game, right? He had a hundred. He just didn't do enough. He had a hundred pass yards on the first pass of the second quarter, and yeah, he had not yeah. eclipsed a hundred pass yards beforehand. Right. In the same way, if you look at how the 49ers have been winning. Garoppolo went six for eight for like seventy-seven yards against 77. the Packers. 
Dude, like, they you just him. have to make him play. Yeah, but he has played in other games, like the Saints game. I know, but, like, I'm not saying that he's totally inept and that you should target him as a result. It's just that the 49ers' run game is so good. He makes a lot of bad throws. And bad yes. Decisions. He could make mistakes, let the pressure build on him. Same thing as with yeah. Tannehill. Tannehill played well, he but played it wasn't really enough. Well. Yeah. He, he was like, what, 200-something yards and two touchdowns, no interceptions? And I got <laughs> On that last play, you just like all the offensive linemen are just standing around like upright. Oh, <laughs> they're not even doing anything. <laughs> they're just all standing. Let's see the show you play. They're like they're just standing around. Um, I've heard, I've seen other thing, things that like uh, foreigners can't win it because they have because Garoppolo's throwing like eighty eight yards. Like that's the reason. Like you can't win with your quarterback throwing eighty eight yards. Well, I mean, obviously that's not true. Yeah, I was like, well, they first of all they did just win. Yeah. But like also, like there's different ways to win the game. Like you don't have to put up five hundred passing yards each game to win the game. Yeah. This year was proof enough. Lamar Jackson didn't throw five hundred yards every game. Like look at the offensive linemen; they're just kneeling. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. What, but what else they, are they going to do? They're not rushing him. So what are the D linemen doing? Well, they're, they're playing pass coverage. Yeah, they're playing prevent defense. <laughs> <laughs> they took out the off the cover defensive all. linemen. And they put yeah, it's cover all. <laughs> that's that's the new way to beat Lamar Jackson. It's cover all. You don't have a lot. Yeah, because then no lineman can't go past the line of scrimmage, or if it's, it's that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. can't go past the line of scrimmage. I guess Russell Wilson is not Jackson, but like that's the new way. But I mean, they can though if it's a run play. Right? Oh, if it is a run play, yes. But even if the quarterback runs, so. Ooh, a little draw. Oh, that's a ten. Oh yeah, they they pushed him down to the ground. <laughs> that's Dalvin Cook. He's gonna hurt. Um, but yeah, like the point I was making is like you can win games in multiple ways. You don't have to have Patrick Mahomes to win games. But what do you have to do to beat the Chiefs? I think you have to have a quarterback that throws like two fifty. Well, at least. Why is there a passing yardage like minimum? Just gotta make plays. I think Patrick Mahomes can just go down, take the ball, and score on you. Uh. If. Oh, uh, it wasn't the Bills. Yeah, well, was speaking that, of the. Was that white? The on DB him? Was that, white that was on him was Gilmore. Because he white. sucks. Yeah, I don't know about that. Banned. Dude, he's, yeah. not, he's not that good. I don't I think. You think what? Plenty of other evidence to suggest <laughs> otherwise, but. Okay, but, I mean, it's not that he's bad, um, but if you look at how the Patriots' defense, why they were so good this year, they were designed to kind of beat up on bad offenses, and Gilmore always had the safety help in their cover one. Uh, did they? Yep. But also... I've watched so much film on this, like... <laughs> no, I'm he's, he's a Bills fan a with a bad offense, film. so he knows. You watched a little too much Pat. Um, they did filter a lot. Maybe filters at all. Like, they kind of tempted the off- offenses to throw toward Gilmore, too. Like, he built up a lot of those, like... Uh, a lot of volume on uh, passer rating against... Passer rating with him as the nearest defender. Because the Patriots' scheme was like, throw to Gilmore, we dare you. Right. Well, and he he got to play really aggressively because he always had the help over the top. That's why. Because they had the yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Perhaps, but what corner doesn't get help? Uh, White. Trey White. Yeah. Does he never get help? No, dude. Well, I mean, like, okay, Hire and Poyd are really good, so I'm not going to say he never gets yeah. any help. But like, he's more of a lockdown dude. Like, put him on an island with someone not named A.J. Green, and he's going to do really well. <laughs> A.J. Green didn't have to play this year. Uh, I know, that's why it worked out wonderful, but just historically, yeah, A.J. Green's kind of dad dick Trey White. Like, you're all on up to it. Like, it's, it's true. <laughs> okay, maybe don't say it like that, but... I mean, Ted's A.J. Green... Ted's mom the podcast. Oh, so you could, uh... please. Uh-oh. <laughs> I told her I was going to send the link, so... Mama just send the wrong link. Just oh. just delete the last thing off, and then it won't work. And you'll know, be like, oh, that's weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why does it work? No, but seriously, AJ Green's had like 150-plus yards and like 10-plus receptions in every game against the Bills. Since but like, what I'm saying is like... Yeah, I guess... Mm, 
I mean, it's a pretty good stat line. That's all I'm saying. I don't know why Trey can't defend AJ Green, but he's done well against anyone else, even like other top players. Yeah, he's good. But also, that's the kind of the McDermott scheme, right? Like, develop your CB1 to be the, like, on the island dude. That's why Josh, I mean, Josh Norman was really good with McDermott as DC in Carolina. And not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Nice bench. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he's going to get cut this year, probably, this offseason. Well, oh, maybe not with Rivera back. But, also, but I didn't yeah. know Tremaine Edmonds made it. But I just saw Yeah, him. he just sneaked in. One second. Well, that's kind of dope. He's a rookie. Is he? Oh, he no, it's the really second good. year. Sorry. I think he's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my bad. He's, who did... Who did we draft this year? Did you draft someone in the first round? Did you guys trade? Or was that a Josh Allen pick? No, no. We, jo- we got Josh Allen, Allen Tremaine. I would do it, but my phone's getting wonky, so. We did uh, Josh Allen, Tremaine Edmonds in the first round the same year. Josh Allen and Tremaine Edmonds in the same. Oh, oh, duh. We got Ed Oliver. Okay. Who was that? What? Uh, Houston DT? Yeah. Oh, well, did he? Yeah. Did he yeah. yeah. Let's see. Now we know. Wow, I totally just like forgot about that. Cody Ford in the second round, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was very good at right guard. And then, single, good enough. And then single turn Knox. Knox? How early? I thought, he, I thought three, he was like the sixth. Three. Oh. We must have drafted some other tight end in the sixth. Yeah, yeah. No? Oh, yeah, you have Tommy Sweeney in the seventh. Todd's, yeah. Tommy Sweeney. Tommy? Is Todd <laughs> Sweeney or like a. Todd Sweeney someone else. Isn't, he, isn't that from, like, the play? Uh, Tommy Sweeney. Sweeney Todd. <laughs> oh, Sweeney Todd. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying Tommy Sweeney, who I don't think is on the solo roster. I doubt he is. Let's see. Something's going weird. Something's weird in my phone right now. I don't know what it is. Virus. Have you tried restarting it? I did restart <laughs> The um, neutral jerseys with the oh. team's helmets just highlight how lame the Browns' helmets are. <laughs> Sweeney still on the team. Tommy Sweeney still on the team. Is he on the practice squad or is he on the... No, I think he's on the real team. I think he's oh, on the Wait, wait, wait. Why do we have so many tight ends? Hold on, I'll go back. Let me check. Oh. He, there's no way. Unless they cut Lee Smith. Because uh, we definitely had Dawson Knox and then... Uh, who was the guy from the Bengals? Tyler Croft. Yeah, four. Like. Four tight ends? That's not crazy because Crawford was injured. No, but we have a fullback too. That's why it's crazy. Do you, you don't use your fullback as much, though. But we roster him. You should use DeMar. DeMarco's good. Yeah, I know. That's why we signed him. But, like, fullbacks and tight ends are used somewhat differently. Yeah, I know, but oh, I'm just saying, like, some teams might roster an extra tight end because they don't have a fullback and then they make the tight end do fullback. Mm, so you're things. saying it's a fullback tight end kind of merged in terms of roster construction. I mean, kind of a little bit, yeah. I mean, look at the... Okay, well, you have four tight ends and a fullback. Because Croft was hurt. I don't think they trusted Croft. Big blocking guys. Yeah, I don't know why you need Tommy Sweeney, unless they really see something there. I mean, okay, we've rostered a bunch of tight ends more than we should for the past few seasons. Yeah, but you don't really use them. Well, I, I, I don't well, know. Do you use Lee Smith? How many snaps did he play this year? No, he's a, big, he's a blocking guy. And he, he had a couple touchdowns. And uh, a lot of false starts. <laughs> Big false start guy. Big false start. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It was awful. <laughs> he just never understood the snap. <laughs> he always he, he always stood up to practice like five minutes late, so we never got that snap count like a uh, practice. I understand this uh, camera angle. Pro Bowl cameraman too. Jack Doyle. Look okay. at He's getting a lot of reps in today. Ugh. Darren Wallace sitting at home. He's got like fried chicken or something. And like candy. Just like upset. I could have gotten my $100,000 in Pro Bowl bonuses. Sad. He just looked for a tight end number 84 and it was good enough for him. Yeah. He got confused. Yeah. Since the numbers can duplicate, wouldn't it be sick if just like every wide receiver on the Pro Bowl roster had the same number? Like nineteen or (laughs) like just yeah, you can make that happen. Just vote for all nineteens. 
I don't understand how they keep stats, though. I guess they just know. Oh. Like how they record official stats. Official I mean, numbers. that's actually kind of a thing in, of the past, to, like, exclusively use numbers for that. Yeah, it just makes it easier. It does make it a lot like, easier. It, for the guy in the booth to just say, oh, it's yeah. number seven. And no one really cares about these stats anyway. But. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everyone's just really standing like, around. What? Jack Doyle. Look at Damn, no one cares. Oh, that's <laughs> <it>. no, that's <laughs> okay. DJ, oh, that's a quote cool song. Apparently this is very not true, but I thought it made a lot of sense. I thought that in basketball, uh, both digits of your number had to be under five. And I thought that because I thought when the ref was like showing a foul to the table, they could like do the number on their hands. So if it was like 25, they'd do a two and a five. Oh, that makes sense. But there are people with digits over five. So how does the ref signify? Well, you, if you want to do 36, yeah, you do. You, yeah, you do. You just do like 36. You have to. Uh, but you you can just point at them like. Yeah, this guy right here. <laughs> over here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe there was just some rules like that for all the leagues I played in growing up because I never saw anyone's digit over five. I mean, it make, it's pretty efficient to only have to use your hands once. <laughs> but again, is that like a thing anymore? Right, I mean, that, that is way, why I brought why this up. Why is that the way they do that? Or can you just be like, it was that guy? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, are they called the play dead because it's the Pro Bowl? Right. So, uh, let's see. Lamar Jackson takes a snap, turns to his left, and Derrick Henry is zooming by him on the right-hand side. <laughs> so, big miscommunication. And then he kind of... I mean, okay, do you think they make them learn oh. plays? And then he trips, though. <laughs> yeah, he did trip. That was... Big slip. They, I'm sure they have, to ha they have to have some practice. No, they just announced it's like, right, like, uh, run right. They I don't know. Did you, they listen in, don't they? But dude, blocking schemes like. Well, they probably or do basic. They probably saw do generic, them. basically. Yeah, or they just, <laughs> yeah, they just don't block. Oh, Ted's Wi-Fi is uh, my Wi-Fi. It's your computer. It's your computer. I don't know what that, that was. Weird. I can't believe they took GT Wi-Fi away. It's the same thing. No. It's the same connection. Bro, what are you talking about? They just about? call it. It's essentially the it's same. It's way so worse works. now. Yeah. It's Eating the same, but it's the same. Years. It's all the same, like, hardware. Isn't it? Why doesn't it reach as far? Like, unless you're in a building, you don't get it now. Like, my no, first... I, did, I really didn't get GT Wi-Fi outside ever. Whoa. My first few years, like, you could be literally anywhere. You could get it. I didn't get... You couldn't get it on the bus. Brain. Like, you're on, if you're on the bus, you, can, you never could Well, get that's it. just because of packet switching. Yeah. Okay, well, it's different. It's just it's not that it's not that you couldn't connect to it. It was just that it was constantly trying to change which also, thing it was thing connected it's, to. It's the same hard. I'm pretty sure it's all the same hard. That seems right, but it Why, can't they didn't be. change everything over. Like because the new Wi-Fi is more just meant to. It's more so about being able to use it at any university. Yeah. Which is stupid. Which is ama no, it's amazing. When I was in Berlin this summer, I got it. Dude, no I one was... gives a fuck if you were in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is studying abroad. I didn't have to say that. No, what I'm getting at is I, I can use it in California. Yeah, I agree. I think it's useful. If I go to, I, to I was in California, State, I, was I was in New, New York, York. Yeah. I used it. I used it everywhere. Across oh, the wow. world. Oh, wow. Oh, Ravens. I used it in um, okay, but Maryland. I know, but why are... Everybody. Why did they make the system worse here to allow people who have the privilege of traveling all over the place be able to get Wi-Fi wherever they go? Because you know what I mean? it's also good for like professors, like when they travel to other universities. All right, that, that's actually a good reason. They can use that for like traveling, um, and even like students. If you want to go to a conference in, um, you, you want to go to UC yeah. Berkeley to go to a conference or Stanford to go to a conference, you can use the Wi-Fi there. Or you want to go travel to Air oh, Ted for some reason loves to go to Ohio State. That's weird. He wants to, yeah, you know. You want to go to University of Buffalo because it's close to you know, ish to the Bills. You can use the Wi-Fi there. Not all these schools use it, but they're all pretty much transitioning over. Not a lot of them are. I'm just saying like, that that's the advantage. It's it's a massive oh, Tanner. Oh goodness. His chili is done. Yeah, his chili is done. Beep beep. Although, I don't... 
Well, How many people do you think we just like fucked up listening to the podcast? Like maybe they were cooking and then it went off. Oh, they thought yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Tanner, you kind of like when the doorbell oh. rings oh. in a commercial. Yeah, or the siren goes off. There's <laughs> a siren. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Telephone. Yep. Telephone call. Yeah. Baby crying. Baby crying. I'll turn it off. Ted's I'll virus. Turn it off. On his, <laughs> okay. The virus Ted gets on his computer. So, I actually went to Buford uh, Farmers Market. Oh, I went to Buford Farmers Market yesterday. I was like, I want to get a pet bat because the like coronavirus came from a bat. I was like, I want a pet bat. They don't have pet bats. At what? What? Can we start this over? Yeah. Take wait. The, okay. The corona. Okay. Coronavirus came from a bat. Yeah. Okay. Full stop. Or a snake, right? Or a snake, or something like that. So I went to Buford Highway. Uh, or so, you know, one of those things. Of animals. Yeah, well, I went to Buford Highway Farmer's Market. I was like, kind of want to get, like, coronavirus and see how I hold up against it. So you just were going to... So your game plan was to buy a random bat and hope that it also had it? Yeah. Cross your fingers and hope that it had it, and then hope that you would build up immunity. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, I see. Just give you, like, a little venom... Yeah, yeah, you know, get a little bite. Yeah, get a little bite. Yeah. Bat venom, you know. Yeah. Like I'm a healthy like male. Maybe I'll survive. Hopefully, and then when it comes to are America, you sure both like, of those are true. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. But yeah, no coronavirus at Buford Highway mar- the Farmers Market. Well, I mean, actually, if anything got shipped from China recently, then. Well, I mean, that's where I would find it. Yeah, there was a chance, but yeah. could not find any bats. We should make this into a movie. The hunt for the coronavirus. Yeah, but we'd have to hire someone to just play the lead that's different than Ted. I mean, he was not. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Understand. Well, it can be based off me, but someone else... No, it wouldn't be based off you. It would be a completely different character that we would write. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> it just wouldn't work. You understand. I'm trying I, to think of an actor who can play Ted. Could play Ted? I could see, like... Uh, like, Ted's not old enough, obviously, but, like, like a Paul Rudd eventually. Uh-oh. <laughs> couldn't see that yeah I can see a little like bit Paul Rudd. Like the, obviously it was like 20 years of age difference here right, right. but like Paul Rudd like, uh, I, I have to think of someone younger than him yeah. um, that's tough <laughs> does it have to be a white guy it doesn't oh. have to be a white guy um, we, can we do an ethnicity change? I, I don't know if we can like go back in time, but I feel like uh, young Bill Hader. I, I, I no, no, I'm not saying it's one to one, but I'm yeah. just saying like might, maybe. Maybe he could do it. Gosh, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, age different. There's a 20 year age gap again. Um, okay, so the NFC just ran a sick trick play. Um, was it sick? Yeah, I thought it was pretty dope. Okay. So the quarterback threw it backwards a little bit to the wide receiver but the Montana. ball was short and it, it skipped but that just means it's a lateral but the wide receiver acted like the play was dead and then instead he threw the ball and I mean I don't know didn't they just get like 25 yards what do you mean act like the play was dead he acted like it was an incomplete pass oh I see on purpose yes and then he threw the ball are you sure what did he do yes he fly. why is Michael Vick here no, the captain. Team captain. He's the NFC team captain. Why is Michael Vick the What NFC else team would captain? he be doing now? Well, I, I know, but do? what does he do on a normal day? I don't know. Dog, he played for the Steelers. Steelers. Yeah, he played for the Steelers last, so he should be the AFC captain. He didn't play for the Steelers. Yeah, he did. He, he played, played one game. He played, he played one, one game in great, in amazing fashion. I think we even won. Yeah, but that, that was like that was five the Chargers years ago. game. That was like five. Years no, that was like three years ago. That's when we had Le'Veon Bell. You know, no phones. No phones screwed up. You like a Chargers game. Let me see this. Oh, oh, I don't care. I'll, I'll let Ted have it. Yeah, you can have it. You'll let Bill Hader, young Bill Hader, have it. <laughs> okay. I hate this so much. They have an infographic up right now. Most TD passes in a season with 1,000 rush yards in NFL history. Lamar Jackson, 36 this year. Michael Vick, 20, 2006. Mm-hmm. These are the only two times there's been a quarterback with 1,000 rush yards. This doesn't make any sense. It's like most, why? it should just be touchdown passes. They could take up the word most. Uh, I mean, they're comparing how much better Lamar Jackson is to Michael Vick, right? As they zoom in on Michael Vick. But it, they, could, they should take up the word most. I, I just don't know why they need all these 
qualifiers. Oh. Like, why can't they just like recognize like, oh, this has only happened twice. So here, you know, I don't know. Most touchdown passes by a quarterback with a thousand rushing yards after two thousand six. <laughs> right. <laughs> They should add in the year qualifier. That's crazy. There's no other thousand yard rusher. What about like uh, Cam Newton? Newton? The other? No, not Cam Newton. He hasn't gotten a few yards. But he got. He got. He's gotten kind of close. Yeah, he, he, gets, he gets a lot of touchdowns. Yeah, he gets a lot of touchdowns because he's their goal line back. I mean, all these mobile guys don't really crack 700, and if you think about it, it kind of makes sense because they're not that integrated into the run game. A thousand yards is a lot of yards. Yeah, it's hard for running backs to get that. Carlos Hyde got it for the first time this year. How many yards do you have to average per game to get a thousand? Like sixty. A low key, I think it's sixty-nine. Is it not? It's like sixty-six. Mm, that's too round. It's not. An, uh, it's not. An, no, it's not. A, it's about nine to sixteen. Oh, 66, yeah. right? No, 62.5. 62. 62. Okay. 60. I'm rounding to 60. Yeah, 60. If it was, we could say 65 to be safe. Yeah. 65 yards. Russian. I mean, every game, though? It's a lot. Yeah, because there's a lot of games you'll get, like, 15. If you're not integrated into the running game. Right. Even, like, someone like Cam Newton. Or, like... But did Lamar have like 1,200? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so he's getting like 70 yards a game. Yeah, yeah, 75, something like that. And he also had 3,000 passing yards, too. It's a lot of yards. It's a lot of yards. Not in the Super Bowl, so... Did you see how he performed on that skills challenge, though? Yeah, it was awful. Pretty bad for a running back. I mean, he was... <laughs> he was definitely sandbagging, though. Oh, you know what I mean? We should have watched the skills challenge here. Did you see the Kirk Cousins one, though? Doing the same thing? He did really well. And I think it just all adds up, right? Like, Lamar probably doesn't care at all. He was just, like, kind of chucking it, sandbagging. And Kirk Cousins seems like the kind of guy who would take it really seriously and like try really hard. <laughs> so. Feel bad for him, you know. Mm, Kirk Cousins could play Ted. I don't. <laughs> you like that? I don't. <laughs> <You> <laughs> don't. <laughs> I don't feel bad for anybody who got an eighty-seven million dollar contract over three years. Was it eighty-seven? I thought it was eighty-eight. <laughs> you know what? I'll take your word for it. You really got me. <laughs> that extra million. Oh, they'll have to resign him soon. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Are we both wrong? I thought it was 27 a year. 27. No, it wasn't, an even number. it wasn't an even number. What do you mean? I had, had a .5 in it. Ted's going to do it. Contract. Let's look. 84 million. So, I was closer. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was some multiple of four. <laughs> So it's twenty eight million a year. Yeah, twenty eight a year. It's kind of that's kind of odd though the way they're doing that. I mean, I assume they're doing it, but like just a little little billboard in the corner. We're talking about Kobe. By I the mean, way. it's probably everybody. Yeah, Kobe Bryant died. Isn't that crazy? Sad. Yeah. About about helicopter minutes, crash. About fifteen minutes before we were supposed. Is that to not a okay? They just called it. <laughs> Also, they're like the Dude, worst foster. Well, honestly, if they didn't call it, who cares? <laughs> who cares? It doesn't matter. He didn't affect the play. Yeah. I mean, he did the biggest dance ever for a right tackle. <laughs> all the D linemen were going to drop into coverage anyway. Like They were just going to kneel, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's all dropped. They're all dropping. Why did he move back? He was just supposed to kneel. Ugh. Why are they going for it? Hmm? Why are they going for it? Because the AFC is going to score if they don't. If they need to. <laughs> right, the defense doesn't even try, so, oh. Well, so they can just do this. Well, that was an awful... Something was bad there. Yeah, the pass is a little behind him. How many Ravens players are in the... 23. Field? 23. 23. Yeah. It has 23 Ravens players on the field right now. 
It's actually just a rape from scrimmage. <laughs> yeah, it's just. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, did you guys just read the thing at the bottom? What? I don't even want to say it, but oh my god. What? Um. They do, I think Joe Testatore just said something. Go ahead. Uh, Kobe Bryant's daughter was on the helicopter. They also said that another player was on the helicopter too. Yeah, yeah I, I, I heard. I just saw that none of his daughters might have died, so that's really sad. Besides the other news. Oh, on the side. Oh no, he's not playing right now. No, he's not. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, he tweeted from the sideline. That's pretty cool, but on the sideline, you know. I mean, maybe he's at the game. Maybe. Maybe. What else is he doing? Watching the Muppets. <laughs> oh, this one. That's it. So, why? I guess. Well, never mind. What's up? Why wouldn't they leave all the Ravens players in at the same time? Well, there's only two tight ends. So. Oh, there's four tight ends in the roster. Three. There's three tight ends in the roster. Okay. Are there only two? I think there's only two. It's like Doyle and Andrews. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Doyle plays Kelsey. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, there could have been Waller, but. Oh, sad. So it was uh, his 13 year old daughter, and then she was going to a basketball team, and it was a parent and another player on her basketball team. Oh. So it's sad. They were going to her basketball game? Yeah. On his daughter's basketball, basketball team. team. Yeah. Why not? Um, well, interesting story about that. So, like, uh, yeah, Kobe Bryant's daughter, her, like, AAU team or whatever like made the regional final or something like that I don't know all the details and then they lost in the finals and then Kobe was like let me be the coach of the team and then next year they beat the other team in the finals like 81 to 2 or something <laughs> what's crazy is not all players are great coaches obviously yeah well I would also say that not all players are great coaches for a girls AAU for team. For a girls AAU team. Yeah, but Kobe was. So. Well, the a, it's, it's probably still very competitive. It's a very competitive league. Oh, where's my boy Doyle? Yeah. Ooh, Trey coming in hot. Didn't give him the tackle though. Dude, look at him. Maybe he deserves to be part of this pro wall. Yeah, he's got like three touchdowns today and always scored. What's up? Nothing. Yeah, okay. You're just giggling in your chair over there. I was he wondering was what's going on. Thanks. Mm -hmm. What about like a Sasha Baron Cohen for Ted? Oh shit, that's it. That's it. That's right? it. That's, it. that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> what? How do you know who that is? No idea. Sasha. Uh, Actor comedian, right? I think he's a good person comedian. Yeah. Don't you suppose? Well, I mean, uh,. The hunt for the coronavirus would definitely be a comedy, so... <laughs> oh, it would be like his style of comedy. Yeah, yeah, yes. oh my god, this oh, is perfect. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, I'm writing the script. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to produce. I mean, okay. You don't know who the actor is? Look up no, there. I looked him up. You know I'll take it, yeah. <laughs> SBC <laughs> seems like a cool dude. I bet if we actually like wrote the script and pitched it to him. Oh, he would totally do it. <laughs> yeah. If we had like a studio, we'd have to have like at least some kind of studio. We'd have to go to like Blumhouse or something. Oh, that's perfect. You can't be involved in the writing process. <laughs> oh, that's fine, no. but can I can I at least happen? Like, can I do it in real life? No. Do what? What? No, oh. no, please. No, no, no. We no, we need the content. Yeah. You need to have the news no, story. So like the like you know. We need to be able to say based on a true. Yeah, story. based on a true story. It's like all those inspired by a true story. Like inspired. Fargo. Yeah. Like Fargo. Yeah. It'll, It'll be inspired. inspired. It'll be inspired. <laughs> it's inspired by. As a backup, though, can we can I pitch uh, Rami Malik? We can't afford him. No. As a backup to Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. You can't afford him. <laughs> no. You want an Oscar to get him. No, yeah. Well, then we could say from Oscar winner. Oh, no. 
Sasha Baron Cohen hasn't won an Oscar? <laughs> <laughs> Has he ever, I don't think he's ever been out. No, no, no. Definitely not. That was a joke. <laughs> Mr. Robot was a really good show. Just throwing that out there. You got an Emmy for that too, right? I don't know. He should, you, no, you I don't ever, think he did, actually. Never won. But it could have. Started the game for the NFC. Russell Wilson's kind of not, not having a great game. It's fine. <laughs> I know it's fine. I think he should be cut. He should be cut. Yeah. yeah. Put it. Put in the backup, Kirk Cousins. He's upset he hasn't gotten on the field yet. Well, you can't win big games. It's kind of crazy. Know? Kirk Cousins being a pro. Why not? Let's make an eight-four million. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, but who else would have gotten it? Matt Ryan. Mm. He didn't have a good enough season for him to the fence. To... I mean, he had a really good season. Yeah, the, the Falcons, were, a, the Falcons yeah. were seven and nine despite Matt Ryan, not because of that. No, they were seven and nine because of him. They could, they should have been worse. <laughs> Right, right, right. You see, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They were saying they got to seven. Months. We're yeah, same, saying the same thing, different ways. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's get back to the script. So Sasha Baron Cohen. Yes. Um, you need we need another elite. We need like someone to play Sultan because obviously he's involved. Oh, good point. Yeah. We need someone. Else. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Sultan will end up giving him the coronavirus at the end of the movie. Ooh, a twist. Yeah. Oh, it's not a bad. Good. It's actually Sultan that gave me the coronavirus. Yeah. Like, Okay. Well, we'll speaking right of we'll bats, right it. good idea, bad idea. I would have named my kid Dracula. Bad idea. Why? No, please don't do that. He can go by Drake, like as a nickname, what? like Drake is like for short, but Name Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> That's Drake's this album. Uh, Sultan. Yeah, I don't have anyone for Sultan. We'll figure out the casting. Who's the guy? Who I feel like Bora? I don't want to. I feel like you could What's, do. Who played Bora? What are you talking about? Sasha Baron Cohen. Sasha Baron Cohen. Now you're pretty sure everything is connected. <laughs> what about like a Vince Vaughn as Sultan? What? Obviously the ethnicity is not work, but like no, the no, style no. I think would work. Oh, wait. If we can afford this, which we can't, but we should definitely get uh, The Rock to play Sultan, but we have to tell him that he needs to like slim down immensely. <laughs> no, we get Christian Bale for that. <laughs> Christian Bale will do that. Yeah, we tell the rock. Could you lose two hundred pounds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Other than that, like I don't know, mm -hmm. pretty good. Also, I think we should have him. Okay, no. Because then we have to put a wig on, on the rock. No, that's what that's is. This is the game plan. Okay? Oh, okay. We just have him grow out his hair. Okay, and then Can make him lose muscle mass the whole time he's growing out his hair. So he's got to take, but the whole time to take like a year off of acting. Oh, more than that. At least, yeah, at least a year. Honestly. This is why we can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, we have to pay him <laughs> but that'd be a sick. lot of money. Yeah. He would make a lot of the back end. He'd make like 50% of the profits. How is this game still not at halftime? Well, there's 13 seconds left. I know, but we've been under two minutes for a long time. <laughs> They've had four <laughs> possessions. There's been two changes of possession. I don't know. Let's just tell you. In the last, yeah. I want to see some crazy Hail Mary. That'd be dope. Because we're getting there, yeah. Just do a flea flicker. They don't need to, sure. they, you know, they, yeah, Deshaun Watson, you can flick it. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, anything else about the Super Bowl? We'll just wrap it up at halftime. Let's see what you guys. Oh, um, no. we didn't really talk about the Super Bowl at all, huh? No, we're going we got ahead. a little sidetracked by our, our movie script. Because no, that's, <laughs> that's the next big thing. Um, I mean, I think reiterating what we said before, just like, the, I think the Chiefs defense has a pretty good game plan about how to go about winning the game, and they just executed it against the Titans. And I think it's really, really similar. It's also a different style, though. The, the Titans run a different style than the 49ers. The running game. Okay, I can buy it. Very that. different. I think, so maybe in their execution, it's going to, you know, be a little different. You know, but I think in general, yeah, exactly. But the execution is completely different. Because the Titans running scheme is not really a scheme. They just give the ball to Derrick Henry and just... I don't think that's true. 
close their eyes. They use their fullback pretty effectively. Well, it's just like it's the, nothing the compared to the zone scheme that the 49ers run. The Ers use the most motion in the league, like more than the Ravens. It's like seventy five percent of their plays. Do the Titans run uh, a power scheme? Essentially, yeah. Oh shit! That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they just pretty they just give the ball to Derrick Henry and then cross their fingers. Well, I mean, but that's a pretty good game plan. And it does work for them, but it didn't. Yeah, but like it's easier to scheme against that than like the 49ers zone blocking scheme. Trivial, easy. Yeah, at least Justin Tucker always gets a game in the late January. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all I think is it, it's yeah, it's the same philosophy, but it's a very different way to approach it. Yeah, well, you know, I guess it just comes down to defensive execution. I mean, I think the offense will do what it needs to do. But if you let the running backs go for like two hundred plus yards on twenty five yeah. carries and Garoppolo has to pass mm-hmm. ten times or less, then you know, the game's lost. Well, I think Cole will be hurt, right? I think Cole How hurt is he? I know you hurt his hand. Monster's been looking unreal. Is it Monster? Yeah, I think it's Monster. I don't know. Raheem. Raheem Raheem's yeah. been looking <laughs> sick. <laughs> so. Matt Breida doesn't play anymore. It's really just Monster. Breida's out too? No, he just doesn't play. He had like one carry last game. Oh, well, I mean, I'm sure if he needs to, he'll. Because he's good. Oh, no. They don't use him. He's fine. I mean, Cal Shanahan has been very vocal. He's like, we're just playing the hot hand here. So. Wait, who's the... Jarek McKinnon? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah Is he got, out? Yeah, he's out for the season. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a setback this year. He he went to, he went to like, uh, the high school next to my high school. Mm, Mr. Yeah. Popular. The Sprayberry High School. Well, he made $25 million, never played it down for 29 years. He's going to get cut this year after two years. Well... Sounds like a good deal. Yeah. I wish I could get paid $25 million for doing that. For nothing? Yeah. We're getting hurt. Yeah. Well, he got hurt, so it's not like it's... He's not like living the high Oh, I could get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. I thought, what it was it? It was like a hamstring thing or something? Yeah. Yeah. He's a pretty small dude, so... But like, yeah. Okay, Ted, anything else? I have nothing. I'm excited for the movie. <laughs> Can I come to the premiere at least? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you only you we'll only get, get one plus one. You don't get like you don't get another. You I don't get to bring my family. Just no. One. You get one. Yeah. You get one. You bring your mom. Yeah. Okay. You bring your mom. Okay. Shout out to mom. Wait, what are you guys doing for the Super Bowl? Not like I'm trying to make plans right now. Just trying to maybe get other people live ideas. On the podcast. Okay. Live on the podcast. I mean, I know what I'm doing for the Super Bowl. I was just wondering what you guys okay. are doing. Probably gonna do the homework I pushed off till. No, Something come on, man. Yikes. What are you doing? I'm, I mean, I'm just going to my friend Taylor's place. He was on the podcast before. Yeah. Ted, yeah. you remember you listened to that. Episode. Yeah, I've listened to a couple podcasts. Uh, Sultan, uh, short sleeve, button ups, not an uncle shirt. Just want to put that out there. I mean, I'm not going to say an mm. uncle shirt, but not a fan. Yeah, but he said what? specifically, he didn't say not a fan, he said uncle shirt. Well, does Sultan like uncles? Like, what does that mean? I think he's into uncles. All right. <laughs> uncle he has guy. an uncle fetish. Yeah. Like uncle guy. <laughs> oh, I'm dead stream it. It did stop randomly. Okay, we'll wrap it up there. Any last words? Nah. Like and subscribe, right? Is that what I'm supposed to say? I can't wait for Bill's football next season. <laughs> <laughs> Blake, cool.